So that's where we're going to go from. Uh, what you're looking at there is numbers. And you first look at them and it's like Swahili and you're thinking, what the hell does all of this mean? The real skill, the real skill in business or, or probably even in life is to unravel those numbers into activity. What happened or what didn't happen? That ultimately every one of us needs a objective measure. If you look at life as to why a lot of people get lost when they leave school and when they leave even home, the thing that you hate about being at home in school is actually the thing that you really miss when you become an adult, and it's the accountability. The thing that you absolutely hate about living with your parents is the fact that they hold you accountable, right? And then when you become an adult, you think, oh great, I'm free. And there's no accountable and nobody tells you what to do and nobody tells you to get out of bed and nobody rants at you. You haven't got your father shouting at you about standards and you know all of these things. And all of this stuff you took for granted as a kid is really the thing that is missing in most people's lives as adults, right? You achieve a lot as a kid, yes or no? You get so much fucking done in the first 18 months of your, uh, 18 years of your life, yes or no? Because everywhere you're looking, Somebody's holding you accountable, whether it's school or whether it's your parents. You become 18, 19, 20, you leave the school system and it's like, hey, I'm free as a bird. And, and you literally run from every possible, you know, if you're not careful, you run from responsibility, you run from accountability, you run from anything that might, might just shine a spotlight on you uh, and expose weaknesses, expose problems, expose things that you might not be good at. And really that's where you get stuck in life. You genuinely get stuck in life when you stop having some idea as to what your current level of, of performance is or, or um, standards pitched against something that you might want to achieve. So for example, in school, you might want to get a grade A in something. So you know exactly what target you need to hit. You might need 85% of, of your test done right. And if your teacher tells you you're at 65, well, you know, you've got a gap of 20. And the teacher will work with you to bridge the 20%. If you want an A, because you want to go to Harvard, Right now, you're, you're attaining a C and you're going to, I don't know, wherever, right? But you're not going to get to wherever you want to be. My job as a teacher, if I was your teacher, would be to help you to bridge the gap. But I can only help you bridge the gap if I currently know where you are pitched against where you want to get to. This is essentially all you're looking at. Nothing else, right? It scares the shit out of people in business. And, and I, I get it. I totally understand why it does. And I know it scares my staff when you first introduce these things. And it, it, it comes with some kind of, I'm going to be judged, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be held accountable, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be uh, exposed for not doing my job or, or whatever. And so we often revolt, we often push back. The kind of schoolboy or schoolgirl kind of comes back out and pushes back against a little bit of accountability. But all I ever try to do is, is to make people aware what this is, is what probably was the best 20 years of your life where you were constantly held accountable to actually achieving things that made you feel really, really good for achieving things. You may not have liked the fact that the teacher did give you the test results, but you loved the accomplishment that came when you actually hit the grades that you wanted. And, and that's going to be exactly the same in here. The, uh, the targets that we're looking at here on these boards are no different. And I'm trying to get people um, to accept that, to grow as people and to grow as staff and then to grow as a business. These numbers are nothing other than a, a test result that tells you where you are against where you want to be at the end of the year. And anybody who's committed to learning or growing and wants to feel good about themselves, I don't know another way. And I, I'll never back down on it. And all of the research and study and lessons I've learned, you show me somebody who's miserable and bored and I'll show you somebody who stopped being accountable. I promise you. You show me somebody who just wants an easy, I don't want none of this shit and I'll show you somebody bored. Absolutely drop dead bored of their life doing all sorts of shit in their personal life that they shouldn't be in an attempt to get the pleasure and the, and, the, and the satisfaction and the fulfillment that they would only get if they actually just face up to the fact that this type of thing can help them to grow as a person, to be better at what they're doing. Because what's our jobs as bosses, right? As Carrie, you know, Carrie's job, my job, anybody else, have you got staff? What's your job? Your ultimate job is to help somebody be successful. That's it. Leadership in business, Carrie's job is to help you all be successful. That's it, nothing else. To raise you up, but to help you to be successful, she has to sit you and go, that's what success looks like. That's what success looks like. It don't mean that you're gonna hit it every week because nobody does, but it just means that we have to have a standard. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best-selling books 
which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.